In this week's Science Buzz, Georgia researchers are now using robots to help improve hurricane forecasting. Brooke Butler has a look. 20 miles off Georgia's coast at Grays Reef National Marine Sanctuary, you'll find a team of scientists using robots to improve hurricane forecasts. What we're doing today is deploying a glider, an underwater robot, uh, uh, near where we have a deployed robotic surface vehicle that's collecting meteorological data. Katherine Edwards, an associate professor at the Skidaway Institute of Oceanography, says while the weather community has gotten good at predicting where and when a hurricane will hit, they've struggled to predict how intense a hurricane will be. Think back to Hurricane Michael in 2019, when you might have gone to bed and it was a Category 1, you wake up the next day and it's a Category 4. That's terrifying. Edwards says this can result in diminished public trust. You might not trust the forecast as much the next time around. You might be less likely to evacuate if the storm is weaker than forecasted. But that's where this technology comes in. This torpedo-shaped robot, named Franklin, is called a glider. It moves up and down in the water, measuring things like temperature and salinity. The glider calls back to shore when it surfaces every four to six hours, and one of our science team members monitors the call, and we can get a subset of the data collected by the gliders. And this orange piece of technology is a sail drone. The sail drone measures, you know, the temperature and the humidity, but it also measures how much energy is coming into the ocean from the atmosphere. Together, these instruments give scientists a powerful data set to help them improve the hurricane forecast. It's tools like this that, that will really, that have, have already been shown to improve our forecasting ability. The hope is that in the future, this work off Georgia's coast will give coastal communities like Savannah a better idea of how to best protect its residents.